John Ason coming at you again here at 3D Golf Performance, standing inside of our simulator bay, and uh, once again um, trying to give you some information about how we practice down here and use the systems here, in particular the launch monitors, to calculate spin. Um, for some of you, you might be dealing with too much side spin. Others, though, uh, might be dealing with uh, shots that balloon into the air and too much backspin on the ball. This is very, very common, and um, I'm going to hit a shot here and show you exactly what I mean. So, so I kind of purposely uh, tried to scoop that one to create a little bit extra spin. But we'll notice here a couple different things on the top left hand side is, <coughs> excuse me, we've got uh, launch conditions of 22 and I've got backspin of 10,493. Um, my total carry distance was 140 and my ball speed was 105. So I'm, I'm putting these calculations together because I know what they mean. And for a lot of golfers that are, are scooping the ball or um, trying to lift the ball off the turf in, in a sense of get under it, um, probably just don't understand what they're doing. And what I'm going to do now is hit another shot and demonstrate how when you have forward lean to the shaft and you can trap the ball, your ball will have a lower trajectory, more penetrating ball flight. This takes away some of the backspin and creates more distance. So the ball will launch a little bit lower. And of course, we have that ball turf or divots after or in front of the ball as a result. So Okay, so that was a, another one up the line there. Looks pretty good. And once again, I'll bring the screen up a little bit closer so you can see the numbers. And this time, again, what we can see here, obviously, my carry distance is a lot further. And look at my ball speed all the way up to 120. So those are consequences um, of how I strike the ball. And obviously, I hit that one pretty solid. But you can see by my numbers here, again, the launch was at 16.6 and the backspin at 8,800. So all of a sudden, I brought down my backspin by two or three thousand RPMs, and I decreased my launch by about five. It was 21 before, and now it's 16. So you can see that understanding through the system exactly what you're doing wrong, you can certainly work on a couple of these key components to a professional impact, and hopefully get yourselves hitting it a little bit further and a little bit lower. Good golfing. Enjoy the hit.